Guys, we're back here at the facility. Kind of wanted to show you some of the progress we made this week. So, um, we got some of the sheeting put up in the bathroom. We are gonna put a dairy board uh, material over that, but we got that all sheeted. Got insulation hung and to help soundproof uh, the bathroom and also the office in there. Um, the spray foam guy came on Monday and Tuesday and he spray foamed all the exterior walls. He will come back once this wall is framed in. Um, he'll come back and spray foam that as well. We want to do all the exterior walls uh, to get that good and insulated. And so, yeah, he'll be coming in back at a later date once that's put in. Um, we got the sheeting put in here. It's all in the office. We're going to go ahead and, and trim some of the doors and windows and then get in, come in here and probably just stain the plywood and just leave it kind of like this. It'll look all right. Um, and then we came in the viewing room and this room, these two rooms, I guess, they are all going to be, uh, just, uh, corrugated tin, um, for the sidewalls. So anyway, we came in here today and hung some nailers up, which is a lot of just tedious work, but we got that done today. But we also came in here and, uh, kind of ran the hand grinder over the platforms here to kind of smooth up the concrete a little bit um, where it was grooved. And then we came in and had to cut the standpipe out um, where that drain is and then had to grind a little concrete out so that we could get the uh, grade in there. Popping off those forms on there was a heck of a task too. That was not very fun, but we got it done, so. Anyway, that's all set in place now and fits good. And uh, hopefully on Monday, we will uh, be able to set the robot in here, so. Just got done locking the cows up after morning milking. I wanted to show you what we did here on the alley this week. So this week we, while the concrete guys were here pouring a bin pad up there, they um, had their mini excavator and a jackhammer on it, and they knocked out the stub wall that was here. Um, knocked that out so we can widen this alley. So anyway, reason being is. Our alley here currently that we use to walk the cows up is only seven foot wide and it works for what we're doing. But we have seen in the past that you get sometimes on the, whenever the cows come back from milking, a boss cow will stand right in the middle of the alley and you'll have young heifers, first lactation cows that won't want to walk past her um, because she's standing there being a bully. So we didn't really think with it being a free flow deal with cows walking back and forth throughout the day, um, to go get milked on their own. Thought it might not be a good thing to have it so narrow um, for these cows to travel back and forth and have a boss cow um, keep them from go get milked. So um, anyway, so we're gonna come in here and pour this ourselves actually, but uh, we're gonna basically just tie into this alley here, widen it out seven foot and then pour a stub wall back. Um, to make the alley 14 foot wide to where it's plenty wide to where cows can kind of get back past those um, boss cows. It's not a bottleneck uh, this whole length of this alley. So <clears throat> it's not something I want to do, but I think 
I think if we didn't do this, we would be kind of disappointed with <laughs> that aspect, having cows do that and have a hard time with um, young cows uh, making it to the robot on their own because they're being timid because an older boss cow is bossing them around and, you know, not letting them go past them. So anyway, we're going to do that here. Hopefully next week you can see the bin pad we got poured here. Uh, that's where the two grain bins will sit that um, deliver pellets into the robot to entice the cows to come get milked, um, give them some feed. So, yeah, we'll get this concrete ramp here poured. The concrete guys are going to do that, and they'll pour it somewhere to right in here. And then um, Hemi Brothers Construction will do the, the rest of that ourselves. Uh, we, can, we can handle that. We're... We're good enough to do that much anyway, so. John's out there with the fertilizer buggy, putting some fertilizer on our triticale for a spring crop. Nathan is up at the robot barn putting sheeting up. And I am back here working on Juno, our feed pusher, because Juno got lost. So Juno's Thought the safety bumper, little there's a little bumper here that if the cows push on Juno, that it'll activate the, the safety bumper, or if it runs into something, it'll activate that safety bumper to where Juno doesn't just keep ramrodding into stuff. Anyway, it got activated because these little sensors uh, were out of adjustment. So I got them adjusted and anyway, should get her going again. guys we're in here at the robot barn kind of wanted to show you a little bit about the robot so we got her set in place there on Monday today's Saturday um, and the guys put her in they went ahead and put some epoxy down there at the leg um, we'll epoxy the rest of this floor in the pit at a later date but they kind of did that right away to make sure she's good and level and I guess to protect those legs as well so anyway so this is the arm on the robot that uh, actually attaches the cups and preps the cows. So these brushes are what cleans the cow, cleans the cow's teat, and my finger is a cow's teat. These will spin and uh, clean the cow's teat that away. And then right here, you can, this is where the cups will actually attach to is these couple of four hoses here. And um, the robot will actually, arm will go and attach it attach the uh cups to the cow so to milk ourself anyway and then you got your computer screen over here um, where you can look at anything and um, look at all the information on the cow and whatnot uh, right there control the robot arm and um anyway and then whenever the robot's not being used it comes over here and pushes to these wash cups and it'll sanitize uh, those those uh milker cups in between each cow so kind of keep any mass ties from being passed from one cow to another so anyway the way it works like i said there will be a wall built right where this deck plate's put right here um we'll be building that wall probably next week and uh anyway so the cow will be on this side and the, the arms and people are on this side um so the cow walks in through this gate here she'll walk in and stand right above this mat and then the front part here, the feed line will be running here overhead and feed will dispense into this bowl. If I can pull this thing out. Yeah. So this is like the front gate, I guess. And there'll be feed in this bowl and the cow will, will stand here and eat her grain pellet while she's being milked. And then after she's done being milked, this gate will just pull back inside here. Oh, it's kind of going in there slow. Um, anyway, and then the cow walks straight out and then the next, it'll dispense pellets for the next cow that comes in and, um, then shut again and be ready for the next cow. So that's kind of how it works. Uh, the cows, like I said, will wear like a ID collar and you can see that above, above 
right there. That's what, it, when the cow walks in, that little gizmo above there will identify the cow. And then this, I believe, is what uh, tells the robot that the cow has exited the robot. So, anyway, kind of a little neat technology there, I guess. But, um, and for you, those of you that wonder if, the, if a boss cow will stand right here and try to bully cows that walk out, there will be a one-way gate outside here, so that way a cow can't just stand right there and uh, block the exit of the robot. So, anyway, so, yeah. We got a little more done this week with the sheeting. Um, I don't believe last time I showed you guys anything in here. We had that all up. Um, we had some more plywood put up there. Uh, another thing we did this week, there will be a big 10-foot fan that will hang from here. Uh, Nathan went up there and mounted that uh, bracketing earlier this week. So that way they'll come in next week and um, put the poly ceiling in, and they can frame around that. So. We got some more tin put in that room. We did a lot of that ourselves. We've been doing all this ourselves the last couple weeks, I guess. So we got that tin wall put up there. Uh, we just kind of, in between chores, has been a little slower going, but made some pretty good progress. We didn't get any, got some trim put up around here, but didn't get any tin up put up here yet. So anyway, Sloan Builders, the guys that are building this, they should be back here um, this next week and they'll probably knock a lot of this stuff out and um, hopefully get a little bit more concrete poured. Hopefully we'll do a little bit more pouring of concrete ourselves, maybe set some bins, get a lot of progress made. So anyway, I think that'll be it for today. We'll see you guys later.